So today I'm taking you along with me and getting ready for New Year's Eve. I hope everyone had a wonderful New Year's. Um, as always, all my products and outfit details will be in the description below. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely do. With that said, let's just get into the video. Here I'm doing my eyebrows. I have a new eyebrow routine that I'm actually obsessed with. So if you guys would like a more detailed video on that, definitely leave that in the comments. And then I'm just priming my eyes and applying a gold shade. I accessorized with gold, so I had my eyeshadow kind of match that. And I did apply that gold shadow wet to make it a little bit um, more pigmented. And then I'm just blending it out with a warm toned brown as usual. And then I'm going with a little bit of a deeper matte brown just to further blend and help me transition into the darker colors because then I just added a matte black and when you're working with black you want to start with a little bit and then just blend a ton and then add more so that's what I'm doing here and just darkening up darkening up I can't talk I'm also sick um, but I'm darkening up the outer corner with this and then I'm going to just blend one more time and make sure everything is super smooth and then I'm just going back with the gold because it can sometimes get a little bit lost and then I'm just highlighting with a matte cream shade underneath my eyebrows and in my inner corners and then I'm adding my foundation I already had a little bit on but I decided to add another layer and so I'm blending that out with my beauty blender and then I'm spot correcting my spot and then I'm also going to blend that out with my beauty blender and then I'm adding a liquid or cream contour to not only add dimension but also darken up my foundation because I did apply self tanner to my body so I want to make sure my face matches and then I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender as well and then I'm adding a little bit of a lighter concealer to my under eyes and then also again to some of my problem areas because they're being really stubborn and annoying and blending that out and then I'm going to set my under eyes with a banana shade and then I just use whatever was left on my brush to powder the rest of my face I didn't want a ton of powder I wanted more of a dewy finish and then I just took um, more of like a warm orangey bronzer to bronze up my face and then I'm contouring with a cool tone bronzer and I'm also adding a little bit to my nose but I don't like to do a lot of that and then I'm just adding one of my favorite blushes it's um, just super natural but really glowy so. and then of course I'm highlighting my cheekbones my nose and my cupid's bow everyone loves a good highlight these days And then I'm going back with the gold shadow underneath my lash line and I really packed this on and then I went with the black on the outer half and I just used my finger to kind of smoke it out but you can use a brush that works too. And then I'm just curling my eyelashes and then of course I got mascara on my skin. I literally don't think that's ever not happened to me so that's good. And then I'm applying fake eyelashes. They were literally all out when I went to Target and Ulta. So, gotta put those on for New Year's Eve. And then I'm just lining and filling in my lips with one of my favorite um, lip liners. And then, I just love this color. So, I basically use it as a lipstick. And then I'm just finishing that off with a lighter, more brown lipstick in the center. I love the combination of it. And that is the finished makeup. And I really love how my outfit came together. I also posted a photo on my Instagram, so definitely follow me on that if you want to stay updated. But I hope everyone had a great New Year's Eve and you will be seeing more of me in this next year. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.